All right, my dudes, we're back once again to my fellow delinquents. 350 intersection of two arrays, two. Given two arrays, write a function to compute their intersection. Example, nums one, one, two, two, one, nums two, 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 the intersection is two, two. Each element in the result should appear as many times as it shows in both arrays, so the result can be in any order. So this isn't the traditional. First way to understand this is to understand what an intersection is in set theory. So you have two sets, let's say zero, one, two, three. And then you have another set, which is gonna be three, four, let's just say two, one, four, two, three. Now the intersection of these two sets is the kind of like the Venn diagram. It's uh, the elements that are gonna be in both sets, that are present in both sets, right? But usually in set theory, there's no duplicates, right? So elements that are same in both here, we have two twos in the second set, but the set, uh, the intersection is actually just gonna be two and three here. Despite that there being two twos in this one and one two in here and one three, and you can even have two threes in this one. The intersection here is just two three, right? In this problem though, what they want is the one to one mapping of both. So it's elements that are in both, but uh, literally like one for one. So if there are two threes in this one, then they want two threes in the result answer. And since there's only two twos here and one two there, then they only want one two because they're only they only map uh, one to one there. So that's what they want, right? So what's an easy way to do this, right? The intersection. So basically, we need a way to find the elements that are the same in both, right? So one quick way you could do this is you could sort both of them, right? Sort both lists, and then what you would get once you sort them, let's just say you had something like this and something like. Uh, you know something like this I mean you can kind of go through one for one right and you'll see that you know what elements are in both sets that are the same if you were to sort them but that's kind of cheeks because that's going to be bounded by n log in time we can do much better than that so an easier way to do this is to just create a dictionary right so the idea here let's call it num1 dict so that we're not being confusing we can create a dictionary right and we're going to create a, a mapping from numbers to occurrences so numbers to occurrences then we can iterate through the second list right and we'll just look up the numbers in the second list to see if they're in the dictionary of the first list now if they are right then that means that they both share an item and so we'll decrement occurrences here and so we'll kind of see what i mean here let's just say if list one has it has three ones one two and one four right and the nums two second number here we're just gonna say zero five and uh, one two ones so we look up zero right this will be nums two and this is the dictionary created from num one we'll look up zero in the number one dictionary we will be like oh there's no zeros in here so we obviously don't share that element right there's no fives in there so we can go from zero to five there's no five skip that okay we look up one there is a one in there so we're gonna decrement one and then our answer, we're going to add one to the list, right? Then we're going to go to the next element. Oh, look up. There's another one. Boom. We're going to decrement one there to occurrences. Remember, because we're doing numbers to occurrences. And then we're in here. Let's just add another one just for the sake of the example. And that's, that's two more, actually. And then we're going to look up one again. Okay, dope. There's still a one in there. So that means our intersection right now is that the fact they have at least three ones together. But if we look up one again, the fourth one, there's no one left, right? Because the occurrences is now zero, right? So this would be the answer for this example. So following that, create our dictionary for num1. So what we can do is, we can just do this. For num in nums, nums1, if num in nums, oops, yeah, in nums1, so for, so if number is in num1 subdict, what we're gonna do, is just do num sub dict sub num is equal to num1 sub dict sub num plus one. Now, if it's not in the dictionary, we're gonna add it, right? We're just gonna set it to one. Then, iterate through second list and check if, iterate through second list and check if the number is in the dictionary. So for num in nums two, if num 
in nums2 is like we said is in num1 sub dict right that's pretty dope which means they share an intersection but we also have to make sure remember when we add that fourth one before uh the occurrences were zero right so we have to make sure to decrement uh each time we add a number in dictionary we have to decrement the number of occurrences because we're trying to you know balance out here so if the numbers in the dictionary n num1 sub dict sub num we're just going to look it up and the occurrences are greater than zero what we're going to do is we're going to create our intersection is going to be equal to this list we're going to intersection dot append num and then what we're going to do is num1 sub dict sub num is equal to num1 sub dict sub num minus one boom then we can return intersection this should work let's see oof indented block num1 sub dict oops you know, all this over so that's pretty good faster than 95.48 percent i mean <clears throat> that makes no sense right but uh this is pretty good first time doing this problem by the way so what's the time complexity right time what's the time complexity right so the time complexity so if we have to iterate through the first number first list right to create the dictionary and then we have to iterate through the second list to look up all the numbers in the second list to see if they match and create the intersection answer, right? So it means that we're bounded by two loops here, right? The first loop being bounded by the length of the first list to create the dictionary, and the second loop being bounded by the length of the second list to look up the numbers. So our time complexity here is going to be actually m plus m, where m is the length of the first list and n is the length of the second list, right? Because it's un kind of unavoidable, right? Now our uh, space complexity here is going to be uh, if you want to just assume we're always using the first element of the list we're just gonna say it's gonna be O of M right cuz we're only creating the dictionary for the first list but you can go even further here and make this even more efficient what we can do is just do the minimum of M and N so we'll just create the dictionary for the smallest list right and we will store the least amount of space algorithm will work the same regardless and this is pretty easy to do. You can just do like, uh, you can just do like, uh, you know, first list is equal to, you know, the length of whichever list, you know, is smaller than uh, the other one, right? And then you can kind of stop using num1 and num2 and just use first and second. But that is 350 intersection of two arrays.